Welcome to WP EasyCart. In this tutorial, we're going to walk through how to set up a multi language store uh, using the popular WPML uh, plugin. And so, we're going to take a look at how we have an English based store here, and a shopping cart, and a, an account area. And we want to take a look at translating that into other languages. And EasyCart allows you to do this uh, with an already integrated WPML uh, system. So let's get, get going here. First off, let's take a look at our plugins. And all I have here is a basic installation of EasyCart. And I also have WPML installed. So you'll have to have that and you can contact them for a license. You'll notice WPML uh, has a its own menu over here and then we have our settings we're going to take a look at so there's a couple parts to do it let's first go to WPML and we're gonna to go to languages and the first thing and this is just a standard install of WPML I haven't gone through and changed a lot of settings but I'm gonna go ahead and click on here uh, to add a language and I'm gonna go ahead and add French to the list and I'm going to save this okay now what we can do is we can jump up to the pages and you'll notice we have a store a cart and account page those three pages are necessary and we're looking at the English language and if I open those I'm going to open the store for example what we're going to want to do normally we have just the store tag and it will look like this what we want to do is just add a language attribute for our default language and you have to use the actual uh, two-digit code for those languages that matches up with WPML so EN for English uh, FR for French um, some of them are a little arbitrary like Greek would be EL uh, so you need to take a look and figure out what those are in the WPML language um, but we need to add this attribute to each of our pages if I click on account you can see I have the normal account tag but we've already added the language piece to it Okay. Now what WPML does is it adds this new column and this represents each translation of those pages. And so what we do is we go ahead and click on the store one for French and you can see this is my French store. I've given it a little bit different tag but I've inserted the short code with the French language tag. So same, same short code but I'm just adding this extra attribute to the French page. Okay, so if I go back to my pages, okay, you can see I'm working in the French section now, and I have these three stores a French store, a French cart, and a French account. Okay, now if we jump back to our store, and I'm going to go ahead and refresh this, you'll notice I have now English and French. Okay, and you can see right now I'm viewing the English. If I hit French though, you're going to see that it does not have anything in there. Okay, so what we need to do now is go to WP EasyCart. We have English but no French, and we need to add that language. So I'm going to go to WP EasyCart and Settings. I'm going to flip this back to English. There we go. So I'm in my English uh, settings and I'm going to go down here to language editor. And the language editor lets you adjust every phrase in EasyCart. The shopping cart, the account area, it lets you do all the widgets, um, newsletter pop-ups, abandoned cart emails, Okay. All of these elements let you open and adjust a phrase. 
So even if you were just working in English, you can actually adjust every phrase if you wanted to, uh, to your liking. But you'll notice up here we have currently installed languages. All we have is English. Uh, we have a few language packs in here and one of them is French. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click Add. And now I have the French language pack installed. If I flip back over to my store, I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. This is my English. Now I've clicked on French and you can see it loads all the French phrases. Okay. If we look at the details, you can see all of the French is shown throughout. Add to cart, uh, pricing, if I add one to the shopping cart you can see all my buttons are now in French including my titles and if I want to go back to English I can just click on the flag so this is an integration with WPML it lets us alternate between the two uh, languages okay and the language pack lets you adjust and edit those so if I want to edit phrases I can click on the French now I'll select that language and now we're editing the entire French section and so I can go through every phrase in the French side and edit them if I want to okay so let's take a look now at the product level for example, you'll notice I'm in the English store, and this is a white short sleeve shirt. And if I flip to the French one, you'll notice it has the exact same title. You may want to customize this content. And if I open this product, you'll notice that we might want the title here to be uh, in a French version, or even the description down here we may want that not written in English and so this is something that has to happen at the product level so I'm gonna go back to English I'm gonna jump back here let me back up here there we go I'm gonna go to my English store I'm gonna go to my English language file and get it all set back to the way it should be default and what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the products and I just have the demo data installed on here so I'm going to open up products and we're going to take a look at this white short sleeve shirt so I'm going to come down here and edit this white shirt and what you can do at the product level is add short code uh, for each language and what you do is you just wrap your text around uh, the language uh, two-digit code so for example I'm gonna have an English and French title so I'm gonna make a short code for English and you have to close those just like that and so now that title will be our English title and then I'm gonna add short code for French uh, and I'm gonna say it's the French short sleeve shirt of course your translation would be better than mine okay and I'm gonna go down here and update my product now what we do is I'm going to take a look. I'm going to refresh this. I see white short sleeve shirt and if I click on French you can see now I get my French title whatever I've typed in. And so you can actually customize and convert uh, the titles as well as even descriptions. Uh, I'm going to come in here 
I'm going to take this whole section out. And you do the same thing. You will wrap it in tags. So this would be my English section. English description here. And then I'm going to add a French version. And now I'm going to go ahead and open my product. Okay, so I see my English description here. And if I was to go ahead and I was searching on my French store and I clicked on this, you get the French description here. Just depends on which short code you have, and those short codes have to have to match. Obviously, if I had typed in uh, French, uh, it wouldn't work because it wouldn't find the correct two-digit short code that matches. Um, so. Again, you can translate individual products. Uh, you can use WPML to add a new language. And then you simply go to our settings and you'll install uh, more language packs depending on what you need. And so that's our WPML uh, integration. Uh, this is only for the front end. Uh, you'll notice if you flip to French in the back end, it doesn't change the entire back end to French. Um, we are working on that and hopefully we'll have that down the road. But our WPML integration is primarily just for the storefront and lets you run multiple languages. Um, again, we don't have every language pack in here, uh, but we do have a way if it was really necessary to integrate and build new ones. Uh, and we, if you if you happen to make one, let us know. We'll put it in the store um, for others to use. So that's WPML in our integration. If you have any questions, let us know. Uh, we do have a document on our website if you'd like to click on it. Uh, any of these little gray icons in the corner take you out to our language editor. Talk about how to install things. We also have under extra guides. WPML integration and this kind of walks through the exact same steps installing the language packs editing them customizing WPML screens adding the short codes to your pages and we even have a little fix if you need it for um, some some themes that let you change when you're at the product level so again, good, uh, good video tutorial here for it. Uh, we also have the documentation. And if you're looking for a, a multi-language, multi-currency uh, website, uh, we really encourage you to take a look at uh, EasyCart. Um, we also have various currency conversion rates that you can change currency for customers if they need to. So check it out. If you have questions, drop us an email. Thanks.